Hello, my name is Steve Watts and I am from a company called Yealink. Yealink design and manufacture their own comprehensive range of high quality but cost effective business class SIP handsets. And today I am here to present to you an overview of the features and functionality of two devices from the range, the T26 and T28 SIP desk phone handsets. Laid out before me are all of the items from inside the Yealink T26 and Yealink T28 gift boxes. As you can see, the components are the same for both models. And as the components connect into the same place for both devices, I will now focus on the T28. So the first thing to do is to connect the base to the main unit. Need to connect them into those gliders and then just push upwards. The next thing to do is connect the handset. So the short end goes in here, and then the long end goes into here, and then the cable is secured away, these attachments in the base. Next thing to do is connect the power supply if it's required. Power supply here is a UK one, obviously one, the correct one will be supplied for your country. The final stage is connecting the Ethernet cable. Now as Ethernet can be PoE and the units support PoE, it is now a decision as to whether you keep the PSU or not. If you do have a PoE switch, then you can disconnect the PSU and then connect the Ethernet cable into the slot marked Internet. Once the units are assembled and powered up, the final stage of the installation is configuring the device. All of the Yealink devices support auto provisioning via various methods PNP, DHCP, TFTP, FTP, HTTP, and securely via HTTPS. So, if a configuration is available for download via any of these methods, the installation will be complete. However, if the device needs to be manually configured, you can either press the menu button and then work through the intuitive menu structure embedded into the device or you can use a suitable browser on your laptop for instance Internet Explorer, Firefox or Chrome. If you do choose to use a laptop browser you will need to know the IP address of the device to enter into the browser command line and this is achieved by simply pressing the OK button. So now we have the T26 and T28 devices fully assembled. As you can see, the units are similar in look, but they do have some subtle differences. But let's first consider the similarities. Well, both the T26 and T28 are driven by the Texas Instrument Titan chipset and the Texas Instrument voice engine, which ensures both devices support high definition voice, the HD codec, and the handset is also HD. Both the T26 and T28 support loudspeakers and the speakers are also HD speakers. I mentioned PoE, which is optional, and PoE versions are identified by the P after the device name. So the PoE version of the T26 is called the T26P, and the PoE version of the T28 is called the T28P. Both units have two RJ45 ports. One is the internet port for connecting to the network and the other is the PC port for connecting a PC. This means that the PC and the device are being run from one ethernet cable and one ethernet switch port. This is known as dual ethernet support. Both devices also support headsets via an RJ11 port here. 
The key differences between the two devices are the display. The T26 has a 132 by 64 graphic LCD with backlight, whereas the T28 has a 320 by 160 graphic LCD with four level grayscale. The T26 supports three VoIP accounts and has three line keys here, but these line keys can be used for other configurable features. The T26 supports six VoIP accounts and therefore has six line keys, but again, these line keys can be used for other configurable features. Both the T26 and the T28 have a strip of 10 programmable keys. And in addition to these programmable keys, up to six expansion panels can be connected to the device to give additional keys. Both the 26 and the 28 have four soft keys, which change during the status of the call. And both models have a series of fixed keys. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and I trust you now have an understanding of the Yealink T26 and T28 SIP desk phone handsets. As I have covered so many points, please continue to watch this summary of the key features of the T26 and T28 devices.